The election season brings more than just political debate. For some, it brings hesitation in jumping into the real estate market. But is pressing pause on your home buying decision really a good idea? Hey guys, I'm Brittany, a real estate agent, coach, and investor, and I'm here to talk to you about just this. I hear all the time people telling me, I'm gonna wait until after the elections to buy my house or to sell my house or to even start thinking about it. And I really wanted to break this down because I don't know that that's necessarily the best decision for you. So let's talk about it. Election years tend to make both buyers and sellers cautious, no matter who is leading in the polls. People assume that policies might change, interest rates might spike, or the economy might shift as a result of the presidential election, no matter which side you're on. People always think this but hesitation could cost you in the long run. One common reason people might wait to make an, a decision on making a move is because they're often unsure about how it's going to affect the housing prices, the economy. All of this really has an underlying impact on all of our living conditions. Historically, however, real estate remains relatively steady before and after an election cycle. While policy changes may influence the long-term effects of the housing market, there are rarely immediate changes that happen after an election that make any kind of sudden dramatic impact. For sellers, waiting to list your home can be risky. In election years, there tend to be less homes on the market, which if you list with less competition, your home stands out and you can get a higher sales price. In reality, waiting on the election results could cause you to miss out on lower interest rates or favorable market conditions. The housing market is always driven by supply and demand, and elections typically don't impact that as much as people think. For buyers holding off on purchasing until after the elections, it could mean missing out on lower mortgage rates. We don't have a crystal ball. We don't know what's coming. What we do know is that the Fed just lowered interest rates and we don't know what's to come. We know that they are saying there are more cuts coming and so we know that likely the interest rates are gonna go down. But if you don't secure your interest rate right now, guess what? As interest rates go down, more buyers come and flood the market, and that means housing prices go up. You don't want to miss out on these lower interest rates with the housing prices relatively low, because if you wait for those lower interest rates and the higher the housing prices are dramatically higher, that means that you're gonna be priced out. And so what you can do is you can get in right now, even if you're in a little bit higher of an interest rate, because you can wait until those interest rates go down and then you can refinance, you can be comfortable in your home and you don't have to pay the higher sales price. So make sure that you're looking at this holistically and not just what it means for waiting for the interest rates to drop or waiting for those presidential elections. Don't let the election season freeze your real estate goals. If you're thinking of making a move, now could be the perfect time. Reach out to your real estate professional and weigh your options. Talk about your strategic plan for when is the best time for you to move. Now might just be that time, or maybe the best time is gonna be to wait. You have to decide what that looks like for you. If you don't have a professional in your corner ready to go to work, let me know, I would love to work with you. And remember, I have agents all across the country who I work with that I would love to refer you to. If you're in the Southern California area, reach out to me, schedule a call in the link in the description. My team and I are ready to go. We would love to help you if you're ready to make a move. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.